Welcome to QA Insights QTP tutorial series. In this tutorial, we will see how to data parameterize in QTP script. So, what is the importance of data parameterization? Consider below this scenario a login uh, functionality you need to validate with multiple sets of data. Say we have usernames with, uh, with special characters, without special characters, and so on. So it will be very time and effort consuming by testing the application manually. So through uh, in QTP, by default, it hard codes the values in the script during recording. So what's the solution for this? How we are going to achieve this login functionality validation using multiple sets of data in less time and effort? So to validate how the application performs the same operations again and again with multiple sets of data you need to define a parameter called data table parameter so this can be implemented in following ways one through keyword view and by export view now i'm going to record a simple script and i'm going to val data parameterize the username field so I'm just clicking on record and just performing some actions on uh, fly. I'm just logging in. And I'm going to close the window. So here by default, QTP hard codes the value. So here testing one has been hard coded, similarly password. Now we are going to see how to parameterize this particular username field in keyword view. So first you need to identify in which step you are going to parameterize the data. In this case, in the line number 3, I mean the row number 3 has the value testing 1. So just click and click on the configure the value button or press ctrl plus F11 key. In value configuration options window, here you could see there are two radio buttons constant and parameter. Select parameter and select data table from the list box and enter a valid name for your parameter. Say user name. Select global sheet so that this particular username parameter can be accessible across all the actions. Now click on OK. So if you observe in data table pane, you could see the username column has been added with the value testing one. So here you need to enter different sets of data, say test one, two, three, testing one, two, three, four, and so on. If you click on expert view, so the hard coded value has been gone. Now this can it, that has been replaced by a small piece of code, code data table parenthesis value of the name of the parameter and the sheet name. So before that, I'm going to uh, add one more line. So I'm just invoking the flight application manually, not by not by the settings of QTP. I'm just uh, adding this particular piece of uh, code uh, so that it will invoke flight application. So click on run to execute. So here you could see there is uh, it has been highlighted in the black color, which means the particular row has been taken. So there are three iterations in the results window. Just right click and expand all. So here uh, you could see the uh, actual uh, set text value. So the first iteration as testing one, second iteration as test one two three, third iteration as testing one two three four. So now you understood why I added this particular line because we need to create a loop so that. The QTP scripts will take the values one by one from this row and put it in the field in the application. 
So let me summarize. First, record the script and go to keyword view and select select the field where you want to parameterize the data and configure it and create a loop that's it so ttp will automatically take the values one by one from the data type in next tutorial we'll see about checkpoints thank you